there is a YouTube channel that that I listen to from time to time and the name of it is grace to you and the name of the video I think you should listen to is saved or self deceived part one I don't think I listened to part two yet but if there is a part two I think there is but I think part one is really really good I think in everything some things you may agree with some things you may not agree with but I think that video is good anyways let me get to my message anger problems you may say I am wrong I have been doing this YouTube thing off and on for I think three years right I believe I have been doing it for three years and I have learned something actually I have learned some things now what I find people with anger problems are really emotionally hurt people do you understand what I am trying to tell you I believe people with anger or extreme anger problems I believe we all get angry from time to time but what I am speaking of anger problems I believe they are emotionally hurt people. Probably now what I find as well a lot of their pain this may not be the case for everyone but what I find is that much of their pain came from their childhood or they may have been raped or messed around with when they were a child maybe they were abused by their parents or whatever and now I guess they express their emotions much of their emotions I guess in anger so for instance I think when you encounter in prop hmm I think if you encounter a person with anger problems like they may explode on you like ah you know <laughs> not exactly like that but you know what I mean like with anger okay now did a response like that like do you really need to give a response like that I think much of the time if an angry person explodes on you I think much of that anger is coming not because of you per se but because of their past maybe a small percentage it's because of you but I think most of it is coming from 
a time in the past. For instance, let's say um, there was a day I was sleepy, I guess. Like really, really, really sleepy. I believe I was really sleepy. Anyways, a person contacted me and I got irritated so fast. Okay, why did I get irritated so fast? Huh? Why? Was it that person's fault? Absolutely not. I got, I believe, I believe that is true. I think the main reason I got irritated really fast, why? Because I was sleepy. <laughs> I did not do anything rude toward that person, but you know, I was irritated. I believe much of it, or maybe all of it was due to, I was irritated. Let's say you have a bad tooth and it is throbbing with pain, like so much pain to where like your side of your face is hurting so bad. And a person comes to you, you know, asking you questions, you know, like your face is hurting really, 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 you know, if it can come way up here, I guess. Let's say like your right side of your face is hurting so bad, like you can't sleep because I guess a tooth or teeth are hurting. And let's say someone is asking, you know, politely <laughs> asking you questions and you are in so much pain. And let's say you are in so much pain and those questions are really, really making you like mad or irritated or whatever. And you tell that person, leave me alone. Now, did that anger or irritation come from that person? Or was it because you were in pain? I would say it came because you are in pain, right? Because if you were not in pain, I don't think you would have reacted in that way. Please listen to what I am saying. Please listen to Uncle Kev. So when it comes down to people with anger issues, I don't think anger issues is their problem. Maybe I should say that is not their main problem, I think. I believe their main problem is their emotional pain. Let's say a person has like a, you know, I don't know much about tumors and stuff like that. Let's say a person had a tumor or something bad that gave them headaches. Now, let's say, okay, my head hurts. Let me take aspirin. Now, if you need surgery, what can aspirin do? Like, can aspirin take away the problem that is wrong in your head? So, I can't say your problem is headaches. No, your problem is whatever that needs to get, I guess, cut out of your head. And maybe if you do that, that is going to take away the headaches. So let me not 
attack the symptom but the actual problem so what is the actual problem th that uncle calf believe is with many people with anger issues i may have said most or all but i believe most i think it is emotional pain when you see people getting drunk every day i think one of their problems or perhaps their main problem is emotional pain when you see people doing drugs and when you see most people doing drugs and stuff like that yeah i think most people who get drunk so much i think it is emotional pain when you see people most people doing drugs getting high so much i believe their issue is emotional pain some people may not know how to deal with emotional pain so they may deal with it in anger getting drunk getting high and all that destructive stuff like that i believe okay so i think much of their anger you know if you are dealing with a person like this i don't think now you may do some things wrong or whatever but I think much of their anger that they may be exploding on you and perhaps in an outrageous way, I think much of it is coming from another time. Let's say, for instance, let's say... <clears throat> your father was not in your life and you are a male like your mother would beat you up say foul things about you you are no good you are just like your daddy you will never become nothing in your life so let's say you are growing up in abuse then when you were five years old, someone came over and touched on you in a sexual way. Let's say in school, you were teased and picked on, mocked and all this stuff here. Let's say um, as you grow up, more and more bad things are happening to you. And let's say you don't know how to deal with it. So what do you believe you are going to do? If you, if you have so much emotional pain, what do you believe you are going to do? I believe you are going to explode in anger, right? I believe you are going to do it even to people that are innocent. Anger problems. I don't think you have an anger problem. I believe you have an, what did I say before? An emotional hurt problem. I believe you are emotionally hurt. So you need to, I think, attack that. And I believe the only way that you can heal from that is through what? What? <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Don't try. I mean, how in the world? Kevin, I don't need Jesus. I can do it by myself. How can you do it by yourself, man? <laughs> Honestly, how can you do this by your? You can't. You need to ask Jesus Christ for help. Myself, I used to have anger issues. I used to be very mean and cuss people out and, and be really selfish and 
narcissistic and all that stuff there. I was so bad. But let me tell you this, if you are that way, I believe you are going to reap what you sow. I think so many bad things happened to me in my past. So many bad things, I believe. So many. How can I say this? I believe so many bad things happened to me in my past for doing what is wrong, even when I knew it was wrong. So I may mess up, but I have no interest in messing up. I may sin, but I may not, but I have no, <laughs> not may not. I may sin, but I have no interest in sinning. So if you encounter a person with anger problems and they believe they are right. Even, you know, like sometimes I think some people know that they are wrong, but whatever that is within them, I have no idea. I think some people will, will still act as if they are right. That is amazing. Like, like what is going on? Maybe I should not say amazing. That is so strange. What is that pride or I'm not sure. But I believe much people with anger problems are emotionally hurt. So with people like that, sometimes you may not be able to correct them. So if you can, I guess in some cases, some people can't, try to be a bit patient with them. There is a person that, well, let me say it like this. There is a person, see, I am trying to say it without giving the identity of that person. <laughs> there is a person so much back in the past used to give me so many problems, so many. And I believe I learned that person is, or was, is, was, more so, I guess, back in the past, was emotionally hurt. Maybe I should say is. So, I had to be patient. Yes, many times I lost my patience. Many times. But I don't think too many people can snap out of it very quickly unless I think I think it is going to take some time so I guess if it is really bad you may have to leave but if you can if you can I think patience will do some good for instance um there is a person, I have stories for you, huh? <laughs> there is a person I was treated wrongly by. And I would argue with the person, but it did not, it did not do any good. And I would pray about it. I believe I would pray about it and I believe the thought that came to my mind something like this was years ago and I may not remember everything but I believe years ago something came to my mind or whatever like be peaceful just close your mouth you know if that person is rude don't really react to it like just be silent you know, if that person 
says some rude stuff to you, be silent. And for the most part, I believe I did that. And I witnessed that I forget how everything was, but I believe something happened to that person where that person needed my help, <laughs> where that person, which is not funny, and God, please forgive me, where, where that person needed my help, hmm, where that person needed my help, and, you know, I could have said no, like, hey, you know, you was treating me in a rude way and doing this doing that you know how can you ask me for help blah 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 i could have done that i'm not sure if i told that person beforehand you can call me when you need me i'm not sure if i told that person that anyways i helped that person why? Earthly wise, I probably would have done the wrong thing, but I don't know, okay, I don't know everything about the Bible, but I know some things about the Bible. I know some things about, why am I laughing for? God, please forgive me. I know some things about reaping and sowing. So I guess for some people, it may be difficult for you to help your enemy or enemies, but at that time, like I believe I knew I need to do it now. Like don't even second guess it like go and help that person now whether that person was mean and did this or did that go to that person now because i believe if i didn't didn't something bad would have happened to me we can't treat people like trash and not have trash come back upon us because while I'm throwing trash at you, the way that I believe reaping and sowing works, in a sense, while I am throwing trash at you, that trash is turning around and coming back to me, sort to speak. So, I know I bounce from anger problems and reaping and sowing. <laughs> Just listen. <laughs> Let me stop here. God bless you.